Hello and welcome to another video. So sometimes you're taking a limit but you're not taking the limit of a function, you're taking the limit of the function of a function. Okay, so when that happens you want to make life as easy as possible for yourself. So make the function of a function just the function of a function by making the function inside the function another function. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. For this problem, I'm going to represent everything inside this parenthesis as t, and then I'm going to rewrite it in a very simple way. I'm going to say, let t be equal to 5x squared minus 2 over 2x squared plus 5 minus 2. That's what I'm going to say, and then I'm going to rewrite this problem and say, Therefore, I want to find, I want to find the limit as t goes to something, I don't know what that thing is, of e to the t. Isn't this a lot simpler than the crazy expression you have on top? So I've made my t this, and I want to see what happens as t goes to something. I don't know what that thing is, so I've got to find out where t is going when x is going to negative infinity. So this is where a lot of work then um, begins because you have to do this. So let's see what happens to t as x goes to negative infinity and that's what we're going to bring here and then we can solve this easily. So let's go. As x goes to negative infinity, what's happening to this? We have 5x squared um, minus 2 over 2x squared plus 5 minus 2 goes to what? Okay, as this goes to infinity, what's happening to this expression? Well, it's easy for you to do. It's like you're taking a limit. So let's see. To simplify this as x goes to negative infinity, remember, anytime you're dealing with infinity, so what we're doing in essence is we're taking the limit. Okay, goes to the limit as x goes to negative infinity of this. 5x squared minus 2 over 2x squared plus 5 minus 2. So how do you take a limit of a rational expression when it's going to infinity or negative infinity? Fast technique. Divide every term. So your focus is the denominator. You're going to look here and say, what term here has the highest degree? What's the degree of this polynomial down here? It's 2. So, and because it is the, the highest power is 2, you're going to divide everything top and bottom by x squared, which is what you have here. It doesn't matter what else these are, as long as this is the case. So in this case, you have a minus 2. We can also break this limit. So this, this is equal to the limit as x goes to negative infinity of 5x squared minus 2 over 2x squared plus 5 minus the limit as x goes to negative infinity of just 2. Now we know this is going to stay a constant. So let's clean this up based on what I explained here. Divide this by x squared, by x squared, by x squared, by x squared. Everything divided. So the limit as x goes to negative infinity of, if we divide this by x squared, we're going to end up with just 5. If we divide this by x squared, we're going to get 2 over x squared. If we divide this by x squared, we get 2 and then plus 5 over x squared. And on this side, what we have is the limit of a constant. It doesn't matter what's happening to the variable stays constant. That's why we call it a constant. Okay, so now let's take this limit. The limit of this, if you apply limit to each of the terms again, those are limit laws. This is going to stay as 5, but this is going to go to 0 because see negative infinity squared is going to be infinity and 2 divided by infinity is 0. So you're going to have 5 minus 0. You're going to end up with 5 minus 0 over 2 plus. This is going to be 0 minus 2. And that gives you what? That gives you um, 5 over 2 minus 2. That's 1 half. Okay, so that's the case. So it means as x goes to negative infinity, t is approaching 1 half. And this 1 half is what we bring here.
So t is going to one half. And remember, if you can plug in the limit value into your function, that's your limit. You don't need to do any math. So the answer is e to the one half or the square root of e. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.